Kids like to play jail. They take the relatively innocent game hide and seek and add a twist. Fugitives hide from the jailer, who then looks for people to put in jail. A brave soul might try to spring the captured prisoners free, but only if they're able to dodge the jailer in the process. Once set free from their captivity, the little captives shout for joy and run quickly away. After all, who would stay in jail after being set free? In Romans 6, 1 through 2, Paul addresses those who have been set free from sin. Evidently, some of those he was writing to thought God's grace was a free pass to pursue self-destructive behavior. They thought it would be fine to continue in patterns of wrongdoing, to go on sinning in order that God's grace and forgiveness toward them would increase. By no means, Paul writes, continuing to sin would be like staying in jail after you've been set free. Because Jesus paid our penalty, we've been released from the prison of our old ways. We've been set free to a new way of living. Yes, we'll mess up, that's a certainty, and God has enough grace for us in those moments. But Jesus didn't rescue us so that we would continue as captives. Jesus set us free to shout for joy and run away from sin into abundant life.